While Purgis Night is a pagan holiday that is celebrated on the night of April 30th and is also known as May Eve, it is a celebration of the arrival of spring and the return of life to the natural world after the cold winter months. The origins of Walpurgis Night can be traced back to ancient pagan traditions and rituals, which were later adapted and incorporated into Christian celebrations. The holiday is named after St. Walpurga, an English missionary who lived in the 8th century and was canonized by the Catholic Church. She was known for her healing powers, and her feast day is celebrated on May 1st. In many parts of Europe, Walpurgis Night is still celebrated as a Christian holiday. However, in many other parts of Europe, Walpurgis Night is still celebrated as a pagan holiday and is associated with witches, devils, and other supernatural beings. In these traditions, the holiday is seen as a time when the boundaries between the physical and spiritual worlds are weakened and when the forces of darkness and light are in balance. One of the most famous celebrations of Walpurgis Night is in Germany, where it is known as Walpurgisnacht. In German folklore, the holiday is associated with witches, who are said to gather on the Brocken, the highest peak in the Hartz Mountains, to hold a wild and raucous celebration. The Brocken is also believed to be the location of the famous scene in Goethe's Faust, where the devil and his minions gather to celebrate. The celebrations of Walpurgis Night in Germany often involve bonfires, dancing, and drinking. People dress up in costumes, often as witches or devils, and parade through the streets. In some regions, there are also traditional games and competitions, such as the Maypole Dance, where young men and women dance around a tall pole decorated with ribbons and flowers. In other parts of Europe, such as Sweden and Finland, Walpurgis Night is also celebrated with bonfires and dancing, but it is not necessarily associated with witches or the supernatural. Instead, it is seen as a time to celebrate the coming of spring and to enjoy the first warm days of the year. Despite its pagan origins, Walpurgis Night has become a part of many different cultural traditions in Europe. Whether celebrated as a Christian holiday or a pagan festival, it is a time to come together with friends and family, to enjoy good food and drink, and to welcome the return of spring and the renewal of life. In other parts of the world, Walpurgis Night is not widely celebrated. However, some people have adopted the traditions of the holiday as a way to connect with their European heritage or to celebrate the arrival of spring. In the United States, for instance, there are communities that hold Walpurgis Night celebrations with bonfires, dancing, and traditional costumes. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in the pagan origins of Walpurgis Night, particularly among those who identify as witches or followers of pagan religions. For these individuals, the holiday is seen as a time to connect with the natural world and to honor the cycles of the seasons. Whether celebrated as a Christian holiday, a pagan festival, or simply as a way to welcome the arrival of spring, Walpurgis Night is a time for joy, renewal, and community. It is a reminder that, no matter how dark and cold the winter may have been, the light and warmth of spring are always on their way. As the bonfires burn and the music plays on Walpurgis Night, people dance and sing, feeling the energy of the natural world that surrounds them. They are reminded of the power of tradition, the strength of community, and the beauty of the changing seasons. And as the night wears on, and the fires die down, people return to their homes, feeling renewed and refreshed, ready to embrace the coming of spring and all the new beginnings that it brings. For Walpurgis Night is not just a celebration of one night, but a reminder that life is constantly renewing and changing, and that there is always something to look forward to. The End